you think you're doing? The Truman case had like zillions of boxes. Yeah, well, these are the only two I need. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, no, I, I just thought this case was closed. Yeah, well, we all thought Vickers gave it up a little too easily. Is there any evidence? Vickers changed his story. This case is wide open again. All over the place. I was just putting it back. I was in a hurry when I unpacked last night. You don't even want me here. Why are you worried about my things? Figured if I packed you up, you'd take the hint and get out. Cole, I married your mother. Get your hands off of me. I'm not going Leave anywhere. him alone. He was going through my things. No. No, I wasn't. And what if I was? Not a big deal, right? Unless she had something to hide. I'm not the one who has secrets, Cole. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you know about Todd Manning's disappearance? Nothing. Is that what you're looking for? Information on Todd? Then how'd you get my mom to marry you when, when you haven't even gone on a date before? Your mother and I, we explained that to you. Yeah, yeah, you did. The thing is, I don't believe it. Any of it. Cool. Do you know what you're looking for? I'll know when I find it. I'll really let you know if there's anything else. Trim this crime scene photos. That's what set you off. Why? Fibers from my scarf. Not mine. Not Mike's. Hey, look, it's not like I'm saying you're some sort of lunatic or something. <laughs> so what are you saying? Lynn Cole isn't going to help you with him or me. He was going through my things, and you heard him accuse me. Yeah, well, why wouldn't he? He knows me. He knows I would never marry you of my own volition. I love you. I want to take care of you, okay? I want you and Cole to be my family. You know, does it ever occur to you that I might be disgusted by the idea of not taking responsibility for what I did? That confessing to Spencer's murder might actually be a relief. Cole needs you. Yes, he does. I can't bear the thought of him being alone in the world. He won't. He, he'll have you and me. Cole will never accept you as a father and I will never accept you as a husband and you can force me to do certain things but this marriage exists only on paper you're wrong about that Marty and you're wrong about me what John here talk to you huh. come on in about what my mom and Miles Lawrence I did what I did because I love you, Marty. I had to make you give me a chance, Cole, too. You didn't give me a chance to think about my options. And I don't care what you say, this is not love. And you leave my son out of this sick, twisted arrangement of ours. Sick and twisted? I've been honest with you from the beginning. I, I've done everything that you've asked for. I asked you to leave me alone. I never laid a hand on you. And it's going to stay that way. <sighs> I, I hope you will rethink that. And you'll start making an effort. Or what? I'll have to turn the tape over to the police. And just exactly what kind of effort are you expecting? I want us to go out in, in public as a married couple. My mom, she married Miles Lawrence. I know. I, I can't believe this is ridiculous. She, she doesn't even love the guy. 
for what it's worth, I don't think she does either. My mom always told me that she would never love any guy but my dad. So why does she marry this doofus? You got any ideas? <sighs> yeah. It's my fault. How do you figure that? Well, I kind of told her that I thought it'd be a good idea if she got over my dad and moved on with her life. Started dating. Well, that must have been a hell of a talk you had. She went out and married the first guy she saw. Yeah. Hey, listen, John. My mom thinks of you as a friend. So you think you could talk to her for me and try to figure things out? For you, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. All right. Well, I got to get to school. Yeah. Look, you, uh, you hang in there and, uh, look, everything's going to be all right. It's funny, when you say it, I kind of believe it.